Yeah, folks, when we came in here, the brand new Let's Play uh, City Skylines. Um, so there was a comment about uh, Green District, a uh, comment or two. Um, I think what it's missing is some high density. So um, I was thinking of, you know, down here, this line would be some high density. There's some low density on the lower side or the water's edge. Um, which I think would be nice. Um, so I just need to unlock that stuff first. So for that, we need um, another 3,500. We need to double our population, essentially. Um, so I think we can unlock a tile. Yeah, we can unlock a tile. Maybe we'll unlock two. Um, so we got one tile from Boomtown. And one tile from Worthy Village. So yeah, we can technically unlock two tiles. Um, hmm. So one option would be here. This tile here. Um, build like a... Build... A fair amount there. Um, on this side. Um, sort of want to reserve that side for more of the city. If it sort of creeps up that direction. Um, I want to reserve this stuff for city rather than anything else um so yeah let, let's let's purchase this one um and then we could probably purchase the top one as well because that has access from the highway hmm right well we have so we have access here at the minute from this roundabout we'll probably have to do a custom on ramp because all the traffic coming through there will be bad. One thing that I hadn't thought of sooner is changing... You know what? I'll delete that path. I'll pause. I'll delete that path. I'll delete that path. It is putting a roundabout here. See how that looks. Yeah. Um. So then... Oh yeah, I managed to move this, you double click it to unlock it, and then double click it to lock it again. Um, so we want pedestrian bridge builder. That'll work, that'll do. Um, although we'll change that one and that one. I'm going to adjust that there as well in a second, once this shit gets its act together. Um, I think I had sold so many... Um, so many theme stuff. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, that it is... Sort of struggling with RAM at the minute. But we'll have that there. We will adjust this slightly. So that it's closer to there. That can... I also adjust the height of all of this, I think. So it's the same height as that. I see how that looks. So if I shift click all the, uh, essentially the nodes for the pillars. Nope, not that. Um, and then control H and there that adjusts the height so that it matches. That's got a big ass thing coming through it. I'm going to change that to two way highway. Holy shit, this is slow. There we go. Um, highway. Two lane. That'll get rid of the lights. No collision, because I don't want to lose the path. And I put on collision. Put on the move mode. And show me the trees to get rid of the trees. Right. Um, and then we want to...
do that. That sets up the lens. All well and good. Um, Hmm. Gonna have to move this somewhere else because that road no longer has a path around it. So it's um oh, it's still slow as fuck. And it's jumped all the way there. Right. Um so no longer has a path around it, so... Toggle that. So that they can come down, walk across, and then they can, you know... Go up and round, and up and round, and up and round. Um, you know what? I don't think we need this. And I think I can set that back to... To that road. Although, having said that... There is a chain track. Hmm. I don't think we've unlocked trains yet. Uh, no, we have not. That's 9,500 population. Uh, let's... So that people, you know, can get their act together with the road. Um, I missed two. Control edge thing. And I think I'll curve that slightly. To dodge the, um, the lamppost. That one's fine. That one can get a wee curve on it. And I shall shimmy this bit over so it's closer to the road. much lore that can technically go and not look ridiculous. So one thing with redoing Green District is that it has made a major impact on our industry area. Um, so yeah. Now that we have this I think, so we've going to have this off-ramp. That looks peculiar. I think it's just because of the distance it's not rendering correctly, because that does look like it should be a... Really? That looked like a good idea. Um, we'll probably redo that. So we have this one here that goes in the four directions. Um, but this one that goes in the four directions. So I think we technically need one around here somewhere, which will go in four directions because then it can branch off into this bit. Um, I think I want to actually just take this and have it go 
just in preparation. Um, I'll redo the roundabout so that it's got the um, right setup. The turning lanes and all that jazz. You're not going to do turning lanes? Oh, hang on. Because it's set like that. So. There we go. Um, so yeah, this will get some high density stuff dotted in around as well. Once we unlock the high density stuff. Um, so we have high, very high demand for housing. And we have high demand for or medium demand for commercial. So um, let us see what we can come up with. I want them to try and make me own off ramp. Um, so I think I'll let that continue going. We have our bog standard. So that'll eventually, if I am doing the, um, um, city stuff here, that'll come into a roundabout. Um, this side will come into a dual carriageway, I think. Rural. Okay, that's yeah. Okay. Um. So that is the large avenue of grass. That's what we have way in the new green district. Um. So we will will come from here and just to or not. Um. These aren't the lengths they're going to stay at, but um, I just want to try and shimmy that so that it's sort of in between. I'll just have to... Uh, yeah, that looks close enough. Um, hmm. <clears throat> So if we have, I'm going to have two lanes coming off, but only one actual lane will do the turning off, Enos. And then we'll do the lane mathematics as well. So that's going like that. And then... You'll have one lane going straight and another lane coming off. And then I think the other way, we're going to have to have it. Julian's coming on. We will swap it around. Or we'll, we'll turn it now just to... Um, and then we will need a four lane for this. Um, so that will be a two lane. Once, you know, once one lane goes off, it'll be a yeah, two lane. It's lane mathematics, as um, if it always says. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll time lapse this wee bit to try and sort of get the my act together. So bear with me.
All right, it's not the prettiest of junctions, but um, yeah. It took ages. Um, I don't even know how much of it I'm going to leave in. But everyone can make their turn. I'll probably... I don't even know if I'll keep it, but, you know. Um, so these two come into one because, you know... Just because. Um, but... So you stay in that lane. You stay in that lane. And then this one can take either or. And then that one goes straight on, which will continue on, loop up and left and go this way. And then the other lane takes a right into there and goes up this avenue, which will go into our new residential area. Um, and then the same the other way. And I need to just sort these lines out. So you, this is so that they don't get in each other's way. So that lane takes this one, the left goes up, loops up and round, and comes down this way. And then the one on the right will continue that way. You guys stay that side. That'll have to be a four lane highway. Um, I move these down a wee pad. Um, that's the wrong one. So that's the four lane highway. And then they get their own lane, so they don't have to give way. That'll eventually go back down to three, so somebody's gonna merge. One of the lanes will merge. Um, and then, same with this one. No. So the right lane takes these two, they go their own little way. Um, and that node is just too close. There we go. Um, like I said, it's not the prettiest of junctions. Um, And then we can get the intersection marking tool to um, to, yeah, to do some markings. We'll do one, and then I think so. You can do something with the new controller that helps you. See, there's an offset here that, you know, it, it lengthens it so that it, um, people have a cleaner line. But there's a way to get this line to line up with this lane, but I don't know what it is. I'll need to look into that. But it, the intersection mark until, so if we get the lines... Right, well, uh, it's not showing up for whatever reason. Mm. Is it the road? It's obviously the texture is different. So that's from network extensions mod. So is there a two lane? It's not the network extensions mod. 
So there are four lanes of network extensions. So is there a three lane that's network extensions? There's mass transit, two lane. Which has the same texture. Yeah, so we'll use this one. Um, Because it's not adjusting any of the um, numbers of lanes, our lines should be okay. Um, there's a four lane. Alright, so it's the same texture. Um, and then... I think that's them all. So yeah, back to the intersection road marking tool. It's this one we started on, wasn't it? Okay, well we'll um we'll scrap that and we'll try it again. Why is it not coming up? That's weird. Hmm. Um, I don't know why it's in that. Let's try here. Is it because of the... Hmm. It might be a mod that's adjusting the um, texture of the actual road, which is possibly affecting the road marking tool. Um, let's try here just to just to see. Because you want to go there. You want to go there. Yeah, so I need to check my mods. But anyway, I'll um, call the episode there. Um, Let me know what you think of this eyesore, and um, I might just start using pre-built ones in the future. I suppose space-wise, it's not a massive difference. Um, I sort of just wanted to give myself, give one a go myself, but um, anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Um, next episode, we will Probably, aye, we will do the residential stuff because we need to build up the population. Um, but I shall hopefully see you in the next one. What is wrong here? Really? Um,
yeah, um, peace.